Purposer is saying that the Republican establishment somehow created a conspiracy that these eight women are uh, somehow behind to accuse him of uh, uh, sexual assault and groping them and so forth. And I would say just read the article because that article is probably one of the most well-researched, corroborated articles I've ever seen on this topic. And you've got eight women who are part of this article and one of whom are a state senator who's come forward, and I believe Senator Salama, I believe her. So with regard to uh, what Charles Herbster should do, I think he needs to apologize to the women, um, and then I think he should seek help, and I think he should step out of the race. The question is, wh why the difference between Charles Herbster and when President Trump was accused of, accused of making some lewd remarks, or actually was taped making lewd remarks? I think it's very different when you're looking at accusations of sexual assault, which is what Charles Herbster is involved, versus the lewd comments the president was making. You may recall at the time, I condemned those remarks and said that I would not be contributing to his campaign. So uh, I think they're two very different things. I don't think they're, I think when you're talking about allegations of sexual assault, that's a very different thing. Is it because you, have, you know some of the people who are making the allegations against Mr. Herbst? So I think it gets back to just the nature of the allegations. Uh, the allegations against Charles Serpster are of sexual assault, right? Go look at our statutes. Uh, that's what that involves. So it's very different from being recorded making lewd comments.